I think we're morally justified to resort to whatever means are necessary in order to defend our land from destruction. Edward Abbey was an important environmentalist and advocate for the wild places in the state of Utah. He spent several of his formative years working in the national parks of our state and saw firsthand its beauty. In his writing, in books like The Monkey Wrench Gang and Desert Solitaire, he spoke of the need to protect Utah's wild lands and places. His teachings and radical influence have sparked movements that long outlived him and helped protect some of the wild spaces of Utah over the years. In the world of environmental writing and thinking, he's as influential as Henry David Thoreau and John Muir. He passed away in 1989 at the age of 62. His spirit lives on in all those Utahns who work to protect our natural spaces from economic development and the encroachment of industry. Climb those mountains, run those rivers, hike those canyons, explore those forests, and share in the beauty of wilderness, friendship, love, and the common effort to save what we love. Do this, and we'll be strong and bold and happy. We will outlive our enemies. And as my good old grandmother used to say, we'll live to piss on their graves. <laughs> Thank you.